Konnichiwa, what's up, guys? Watashi wa mei desu, and welcome to my life in the land of the rising sun. Get notified every time I post a new video about living and traveling here in Japan by subscribing to my channel and clicking the notification bell. In this video, I would like to share to you how to use a vending machine. In San Ni Ichi, I will try this drink vending machine. The price varies from 100 yen to 200 yen, yen, bottled water being the cheapest. Under the price, there is a blue label which means cold. During cold months, hot drinks are available and have a red label. Step 1. Insert the money. Vending machines accept 1,000 yen bill only, not 5,000 or 10,000 yen. And for coins, it accepts from 10 yen to 500 yen denomination not 1 yen or 5 yen. I will now insert the 1000 yen. After inserting the money, the light of the drinks you can select will illuminate. Since I inserted 1000 yen, all lighted up except for this because it's out of stock. Step 2. Choose your beverage. Press the button of your desired drink. Hmm, what should I choose? Okay, I'll get this Kalpi Soda. It is Japan's most popular milk-based drink. Once the button is pressed, your drink will be dropped below. Definitely a must-try when you are in Japan. And the most important, don't forget your change. Next, I will try this coffee vending machine. It has a hot and cold option. I will try the hot cafe mocha. Step 1. Press the type of coffee you want. Step 2. Choose if you want iced or hot coffee. Step 3. You can customize the taste by adjusting the coffee and the sugar level. You can increase or decrease the amount of coffee. I'll just put it back to normal. And for the sugar, you can increase or decrease it or no sugar at all. I'll just put it back again to normal. And you can put topping for an additional of 10 yen. If you don't want the topping, you can press the topping button again. Step 4. Insert the money. I will insert 500 yen and press order. It will take 40 seconds for the machine to make the coffee. Again, don't forget your change. There you have it, fresh cup of coffee by Georgia. Next, ice cream. There are many flavors to choose from vanilla, chocolate, cheesecake, um, caramel, what is this? Macadamia. Sometimes I don't know how to read, especially the kanji, so I'll just guess what, what is it by the picture. Chocolate, cookies and cream, strawberry, grapes, green tea, cider. I want to buy all. Since Japan is famous for green tea, you should try everything with matcha flavor. I will now insert 200 coins. If 
you change your mind and don't want to buy, you may press this lever so that you will get a refund. Okay, but I want to buy so I will insert it again. Matcha for 140 yen. Don't forget your change. Some machines don't directly drop your change, so you must push the lever so that you can get your change. Get your ice cream at the bottom. Oh, it's small! I thought it's big! It's smaller than I thought! Oh well, it's still ice cream. Next, I will try this Coca-Cola vending machine. Um, this is not sponsored. This vending machine has an IC card reader. When you visit Japan, I suggest you purchase an IC card like Suica, Pasmo, or Icoca because it is convenient. You just charge it and no need to bring cash. Not only it can be used on trains and buses but also in vending machines and most stores in Japan. First, tap the card on the reader to know how much balance is left. By the way, I'm using my PASMO card. I still have 256 yen on my card. Step 1. Press the button of your desired drink. You can choose from juice, tea, milk tea, and lots of coffee. Water. I will choose this milk tea. It costs 140 yen. Step 2. Tap your card. And step 3. Get your drink. You don't need to worry about the change anymore because the machine deducts the exact amount on your card. Milk tea is live! There are also cigarette vending machines but are limited to people living in Japan with TASPO card in order to prohibit children from smoking. So, for tourists, buying in the convenience store is the easiest. There are vending machines in every corner of Japan. A vending machine is called Jido Hambaiki in Japanese or in short, Jihanki. So, if you can't find one, you may ask, Jihanki wa doko desu ka? But I doubt that you can't find one because a while ago I just passed by two vending machines and after a few meters, there's another two. There are trash bins provided beside the vending machine to avoid people from littering. Don Quixote is a one-stop shop famous especially for foreign visitors looking for souvenirs. You can find gachapons or machines that sell capsule toys. The toys come in round plastic case from keychains to anime figures. And each machine has pictures of what's inside but you don't know what you will get. Anime like One Piece and Pokemon. This one costs 300 yen. It's my first time to try this, so let's see if I can get Pikachu. Most machines only accept 100 yen, so make sure to have enough change. Step 1. Insert coins. Step 2. Turn the handle to the direction of the arrow. Observe the sound while I rotate. It sounds like gacha gacha. When the toy drop, sounds like pon. That's the name, Gachapon. Step 3, grab your toy. Oh, what's this? I thought... I thought it's supposed to be a capsule. Oh, I see. The head serves as the capsule. I will try to assemble it now. In Akihabara, it's, the price is usually 500 yen, so I find it expensive for a small toy. And I'm not into collecting toys. I have a friend who's doing live unboxing of action figures on his Instagram. And he will be starting his YouTube channel soon. 
comment down below if you want me to vlog about Akihabara which is a place in Tokyo famous for electronic shops and thousands of interesting and strange gachapons. I might buy again this kind of gachapon because compared to other gachapons, it's bigger. And it's cute! Who is this Pokemon? It's Lifion! This is really great for a souvenir. While in Don Quixote, I found another cool vending machine. It's a vending machine for Hanko or Japanese seal. The cheapest is 500 yen and it will be completed in 10 minutes. I like the pink one though, it cost 1000 yen. I will try it. Yes, there's an English option. It's a must item for Japanese souvenir. When you type in your name, it will automatically convert it to kanji. Wow, you'll have the chance to know your name in Japanese. It's easy, right? Next time I will buy my seal from here. There are vending machines on train stations too. It's very helpful, especially if you're in a hurry. Recently, there are digital vending machines like this, which has a touch screen display. It also shows the information of the drink, like number of calories. A camera is installed on it so that it can recognize if a person is standing in front of it. It can recommend drinks by gender and if you look tired, it might recommend you an energy drink. Smart, right? Another helpful vending machine I found at a train station is this Family Mart vending machine. It sells snacks that you may eat while waiting for the train. Not inside the train, okay? From rice balls to bread. To sweets. And chocolates. And snacks. On the other side, there are fresh sandwiches, desserts, energy drinks, coffee, and milk tea, and 
juice. This machine has electronic payment, so I will use my PASMO card. I will check first if I have still remaining balance. I still have 565 yen. Step 1. Press the number of your desired item. I chose uh, bread. The number are below the items. Then step 2. Tap the card. Step 3. Grab your food at the compartment below. It's bread with bacon and egg. There's a cool, um, very cool vending machine that I would like to show you in 7-Eleven. It's raining hard right now. You should put your umbrella outside so that the water won't drip on the floor inside the store. Taran! It's a slush vending machine. You can select from cola or Sprite. I will choose cola. It costs 140 yen for 500 ml. Step 1. Bring this card to the cashier. After payment, the cashier will give you a card like this. And you will drop the card in the vending machine. Then get the product at the compartment below. In order to make it slush, you should follow the following instructions. First, you should open the bottle and drink one sip. Close it again, then slowly turn it upside down. Then it will result to a slush. Wait a minute. I cannot see any form ice here. Can you see it? There's small ice though. Yeah, right there. See? Let's turn it again upside down. Mmm, fail. Tomorrow for sure. Because it was a fail yesterday, I will try it again. The reason of the failure is maybe because it took me a long time to follow the instructions. But now hobby is available as my cameraman, so hopefully this will work. Yay! A slush is formed! I'm so happy! Now I can end my vlog here. Ariga, thanks for watching. See you, Nara!